Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about a very quick gold farm that you can do on any of your characters and that will allow you to get some interesting items that you can then sell on the auction house. So for today's video, you want to come to the Broken Shore in Legion and more especially, you want to come to the Cathedral of Eternal Night, which is a dungeon from Legion. So this dungeon doesn't really have anything uh, special. You can drop a few armor pieces from the dungeon and this is where the farm is happening. So as you might be aware during Legion, you could have a different type of sets that you could get from the different invasions and uh, from other means. And for instance, for the plate armor sets, this is uh, this type of armor pieces. There is different type of recolorations. Also the blue set for gladiators uh, was one of them. And the set with this specific coloration is only available in the Cathedral of Eternal Night. And what is interesting is that for each of the different sets, so the male one, the cloth one, the leather one, and the plate one, one of the items is a BOE and it can drop only through like from certain mobs uh, inside the dungeon. And so if someone wants to complete the full set, they will have to get this BOE. So these different BOEs, um, there are four in total. There is one cloth, which is a headpiece. There is one leather uh, armor piece, which is also a headpiece. One male armor piece, which is also a legging. And then another legging for plate armor pieces. So these different items, again, have a unique appearance. So by that, I mean that you cannot acquire this specific appearance and this specific uh, coloration through any other uh, sources. So if someone wants to learn this appearance, they will have to use it through the BOE. And so this is why all these different items are interesting and why a lot of people, or maybe not a lot, but some people, some collectioners might be interested in buying them from the auction house. So in order to get these, um, these different items, you can easily enter the dungeon and kill some of the mini bosses that are inside. And these mini bosses will drop uh, these four items. As you can see, the drop rate is very low. So this is like for most of them, less than 1%. And so this is why these armor pieces are so rare and so expensive because unfortunately they are pretty hard to get. And also a lot of people don't have the time to farm all these different um, pieces and to run the dungeon a couple of times. So as you can see for most of them, uh, both on US and EU realms, they're selling for a very, very good price. So here, for instance, the 48 uh, item I level or the 49, as you can see, is around 200 to 300k gold. And the minimum is going to be around like 55k gold. So if you go um, there, it's going to be the same for the armor piece, the headpiece uh, lever. Same in the US realms here, as you can see. So really all these different items are, I would say very interesting because even if they have a pretty, very like a very low sell rate, there are still um, interesting transmog items to have up on your auction house. And so you really have all these different, um, these four armor pieces that you can uh, get. So in order to run this dungeon as easy as possible, it should take on average, I would say between 15 to 30 seconds per character. So you just want to enter the dungeon, then you want to go straight, then go to the left, kill the main little boss there, and then just come back, reset, and then you can do that maybe 10 times in a row. On my warrior, it takes me on average 30 seconds to do it, but for instance, on a druid or on a demon hunter, it will probably take more like 10 to 15 seconds. So this is very, very quick. The different items can drop. Uh, you can drop all of them on the same characters. So for instance, even if you're playing on a warrior like I am, you can still drop some cloth or mail or leather armor pieces. So you can really just have one tune 
there and you can just do that every like five minutes uh, i mean every hour for five minutes you can farm this dungeon kill uh, the little boss for like 20 seconds and then just reset um and after that you're done so this is a very like fast farm this is not difficult everyone can do it i think these different items have a better chance at actually uh getting sold on high pop realms because there's just more people and because more people are willing to buy this type of transmog armor pieces on low pop and medium pop it might be a little bit more challenging but again this is not um too difficult it's just taking a little bit of time to get the different pieces so what i would personally recommend is to just have one tune position there Every hour, maybe, or every two hours, do 10 runs. It should take between 5 to 10 minutes. And when you have the four different um, items, you can sell them on the auction house. And then you can only come back uh, when you'll have sold all these different items. And in the meantime, it's there is no need to stack up. So, you know, I would say one or two of each is enough. And then just wait, see if they sell. And once you're selling one, you can then uh, come back and rerun the dungeon. So that's it for uh, the farm of um, today's video. Again, this is not the most effective one, but this is just uh, an additional transmog farm that I just found out and I just wanted to share it with you. So I hope you'll appreciate the video and yeah, I'll be back with more of these um, farms and also more videos very, very soon. So stay tuned and yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.